Jessica. Good morning. Good morning. Mom. Are you ready for school? Yes. Okay, so here are your water bottles. Okay. Don't forget to drink eight cups of water per day, okay? It's really good for you. I'll find out if you don't. Okay. Have a good day, Jessica. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, that's a lot of water. If there is one health myth that will not die, it is this. You should drink eight glasses of water a day. Let's see how many people believe this and what their thought is on drinking eight cups of water. So, do you drink eight cups of water per day? Yes, I do. More than eight cups, I think. Why? It's just, I think it's really beneficial to health and I've heard it all my life that eight cups of water is the way to go. Do I drink eight cups of water per day? Yeah. Um, I try to drink a lot of water. Okay. Not eight cups. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I drink eight cups of water per day. Why? Uh, it's good for my health uh, and it helps me stay healthy. Yeah, I do. I think it's really important for your everyday health. No, I, I don't realistically drink eight cups, but I do know it's very beneficial to have. Yeah. Yes. Why? Uh, honestly, I don't know. I do. Why? Make my skin look good. The most common saying that we hear is you are what you eat, but if you look into it closely, you are actually what you drink, water. According to the National Institute of Health, about 60-70% to 70 of the average adult human body mass is made up of water. The composition of your brain, heart, lungs, muscle, and skin is about 70% water and even your bones are about 30% of water in their composition. Water plays a key role in our body and helps with many issues such as regulating our internal temperature, transporting nutrients throughout our bodies, flushing out waste and toxins, and forming saliva, lubricating the joints, and serving as a shock absorber for vital organs. Although there is no question that water is crucial for a healthy lifestyle and regulating body functions, you might be wondering what amount of water you need to drink to be healthy. You may have also heard that you need to drink 8 glasses of water per day to stay healthy if you lead a sedentary lifestyle. This is most often referred to as the 8x8 rule. However, if we were to follow this, this would mean that we would need to drink about 1.9 liters every day, which is a little excessive for most people. This piece of advice has been shown to have no scientific evidence to back it up, despite its prevalence. Many studies have shown that this much water is not needed on a daily basis and the effects of it supposedly has on our body is limited at its best. So getting into the origins of this common myth, the exact source has not been confirmed but there are two potential candidates. The first potential source is from research published by the Food and Nutrition Board of the National Research Council in 1945 who released a report recommending people to drink 1 milliliter of water per calorie consumed which roughly equated to 1.9 liters, 1900 milliliters, at that time. However, many disregarded the next sentence from the report, which stated that most of this water can be found in prepared foods. The second potential source of this 8x8 rule is from a book co-written by a famous nutritionist, Dr. Frederick Stair. This book was published in 1974 and stated that drinking 6 to 8 glasses of water was essential for a healthy lifestyle. The book also suggested that fruits, vegetables, and other beverages, such as coffee and tea, could be used to meet this quota. So as stated earlier, one misconception that often arises from this rule is that the public thinks that the 8 cups of water are consumed from drinking water alone. However, we need to consider that a lot of our water intake already comes from the food we eat. The most important thing you should do for hydrating yourself is listening to your body. The human body has built-in mechanisms to let you know when you're dehydrated, such as feelings of thirst, dry eyes, and dark urine. When your body is well hydrated, the urine should be fairly clear. Water consumption also depends on many factors such as gender, age, body mass, physical activity level, and the person's environment. As such, each individual's requirement for optimum water intake differs. Current research has shown that we are most likely drinking enough fluids to maintain physiological homeostasis and do not need 8 cups of water daily unless we are living with extreme conditions such as vigorous physical activity and hot climate. The state of our immune system also affects our water consumption, as certain diseases can increase our need for water. Now let's take a look at some possible advantages and disadvantages of having a higher or lower water intake. Longitudinal studies have shown that high fluid intake is associated with reduced risk of bladder cancer, colorectal cancer, and fatal coronary heart disease. 
One study showed that water consumption reduced the risk of bladder cancer by 7% for every additional 240 milliliters of water consumed within the range of 1,290 milliliters and 2,531 milliliters of water drank per day. Another study demonstrated that women and men who drink 1,185 milliliters or more, which is approximately five or more glasses of water per day, had a reduced risk of fatal coronary heart disease by 41 to 54 percent compared to those who only drank two glasses or less. An increase in water consumption has also been shown to improve kidney functions and facilitates the transporting of toxins out of one's body. The kidneys use a process called glomerular filtration, which filters out excess fluid and waste products from the body to make urine. When the body is dehydrated, the body will release a hormone called vasopressin, which tells the kidneys to increase the glomerular filtration rate and reabsorb more fluids back into the body. Thus, high water intake can prevent hyperfiltration, which can cause acceleration of chronic renal failure and increased risk for hypertension or high blood pressure. On the other hand, overconsumption of water is harmful for your body and can result in water intoxication, also referred to as hyponatremia. Hyponatremia occurs when the body has a sodium level of less than 135 milliequivalents per liter in the blood. Excessive water intake dilutes your body's electric light concentration, resulting in sodium levels in the bloodstream becoming very low. This leads to symptoms such as lethargy, nausea, seizures, and potentially even a coma, as well as increased urine excretion. One main source of water is food. Every food item you consume contains water. For example, raw fruits and vegetables contain a large percentage of water. Specific fruits and vegetables, such as watermelons and strawberries, contain high amounts of water. They contain more than 90% water by weight according to statistics produced by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. According to studies done by the National Academies of Sciences, the average North American gets up to 20% of his or her daily water intake through food and could count towards a healthy, hydrated lifestyle. Other beverages such as coffee, tea, milk, and soda to state a few all contribute to maintaining a hydrated lifestyle. As a healthy human, you should be drinking enough water to stay ideally hydrated. This could also mean by replacing water that you have consumed through bodily mechanisms such as breathing, sweat, urine, and feces. So now you guys are probably wondering, so how much water should I even drink then? This is a good question, however, we do not have a concrete answer for you. Sufficient intake of water in Canada is known to be 2.7 liters per day for women and 3.7 liters per day for men. This includes all sources of intakes of water and not just water on its own. You can use this as a guideline for your daily consumption, but there are other factors both internally and externally in your body that require you to drink more water. This is known to be true as we had mentioned before, every individual varies differently through body size, composition and physical activity to name a few. As such, water needs are defined per individual. 8 cups of water may be necessary for someone whereas for someone else it is not necessary. To make it easier on yourselves, we would like to conclude this video by saying, don't overthink it, do what you know benefits your body the most. Your body will let you know if and how much water you need. That's why we have vital organs inside ourselves working 24-7 to make sure that we are in the best possible condition we could be in.